There is a growing market for fruits, such as watermelons countrywide in Uganda, especially in urban areas by fruit vendors, market vendors, and businesses like supermarkets and canteens. This demand has created an entire sector as watermelon fruits are transported from the garden to the markets. Watermelons are grown in most parts of the country, however it's most common in districts of Mayuge, Bujiri, Masaka, Bulamburi and Chenjojo. Every region has its own watermelon season. For Bujiri, they have two seasons, April and May. Robert Chinji, a watermelon trader in Nakama market, travels to all the districts to buy the fruit from the farmers. I have come to Chitonda to buy watermelon. He has been in the business for close to 10 years. What change does is to approach the farmers and buy the entire watermelon fields. Some farmers prefer selling one by one, others sell the entire field. It depends on your ability to negotiate. <laughs> Change buys each watermelon in the field at 2,000 and sells it between 5,000 to 10,000 shillings depending on its quality and size. It depends on the demand. If the demand is high, I increase the price. There's a broader watermelon variety is on high demand compared to the black watermelon variety. The black variety comes on demand when the zebras flooded the market. Change says that majority of watermelon farmers are ignorant on how to manage the crop, which many times affect the quality of the fruit. One of the challenges we face is the farmers who don't look after their gardens very well and they rot in transportation. Suppliers like Chinji also find themselves facing a new challenge that are the traders coming from Kenya and other neighboring East African countries to buy directly from farmers. From Bujidi, where we found Chinji buying an entire watermelon garden, he has to travel back to Kampara to sell the produce and he says it is delicate, which requires caution transportation. You can lose over 100 melons in transportation. Robert Chinji believes that the watermelon business has the potential to employ many Ugandans if it's given the priority it deserves. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV on the farm.